Ordinary Korean American Vlog DIY Gazebo Transform to Screen Room There are many different style of self-assembly gazebos. My friend Park bought one of those from Costco Warehouse. Then she asked to my husband Kevin to assemble and place on her backyard last year. And now she wants to add screens on that original gazebo structure. This rough sketch helped to estimate the materials need. So let's go and find out. Day 2 These are the materials and tools what Kevin used for day 2. These strips will be used for all outsider frames, basically to be added as a new structures for the screens. Kevin places strips over the Y-shaped trims. It is pretty easy to install for the upper parts. Just a measure, cut and place, then drill with cutted screws. Also use a level to make a straight lines. It's been done easily the upper parts. He did a lots of measurements and cuttings on day two. For the bottom parts, let's get drill bit concrete sealant and anchor screws. Use hammer drill and drill bit to make a hole on the strip through concrete base. It's about 2-3 to three feet distance between hole to hole. And then make sure the holes are deep enough of the concrete side. Next step he did put sealers on bottom side of the strips and place it. When you place where the seam to seam after seal, hold the end to end then put those down at the same time. It makes easy to sit straight. Later, use the impact drill with concrete anchor screw to fix those. Sometimes, you need to adjust to straighten and or flat surfaces with the soft hammerings. And when you have those happen, just make a deeper hole to the concrete base with hammer drill. Now install a vertical frame. Divide it 3 by width per each side and ruler less than 4 foot for the screen size from both corners to the center to make 3 frames on it. 
it's very important to marking every single spot for our next performance as well. To make straighten with level tool. Check all markings are good, then place strip vertically and pre-drilling to make a hole and simply drill with 2.5 coated screw for the upper parts. At the bottom parts, you will see some tricky drillings and the other hand is being a good helper of those drillings. You don't want to drill fast, so easy to fix when material is not on right position. Beside, he made a 3 frames with 2 strips on a side and installed crossbar where 2 feet high from the bottom. We'll put lattice in there later. I cannot specify exact numbers here because you must have your own sizes from your own model, screen, materials, etc. Again, the other hand is being a good company to place and hold the materials for the drilling. Trying to compare the looks different between old and new, but wondering if you can see. Anyway, complete basic frames to the one side and looks good. You can skip this part if you don't want to know about it. You just can um, jump to the uh, 1050. Then they are showing total cost for day two.
on my next video, install aluminum frames on and more. Stop by again and look what happened next. And thank you for watching today.